Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Tactical Pen by Off Grid Tactical. Uh, one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that a Tactical Pen is a very personal item. It really depends on your needs, your training, uh, sometimes even your body type, uh, to really find the one that works best for you. So I want to go ahead and give a uh, few of the key features on this uh, Tactical Pen, and then you could decide if it's uh, one that you would want to add to your survival kit. There's a lot of arguments out there uh, as far as uh, concerning tactical pens. Uh, people state like, well, why the hell am I gonna carry a uh, tactical pen when I can have a uh, knife on me or I can have my uh, pistol on me? Well, really, the concern with that is that for the, uh, the times where we can't have those other everyday carry items available to us. I do a lot of traveling, uh, going through airports, uh, going through cities and countries uh, where uh, being uh, disarmed is the norm, and we can choose to either have something with us that we train with and are very comfortable with, or we can opt to have nothing. I choose to have something, and uh, in many of those cases, a uh, tactical pen is the only option. So let's keep that in mind uh, for the rest of this review. This off-grid pen uh, is available right now in two different, uh, let's say, colors. One is uh, gunmetal, and the other one is black. So these are uh, the two choices that you have. They're uh, made out of aircraft-grade uh, aluminum, uh, which is pretty cool. They have uh, an anti-slip ergonomics, uh, which also gives them uh, this uh, definite girthy tactical look to it. Uh, and uh, also makes it anti-slip, which is pretty cool, or aids in it being uh, anti-slip. It, uh, here in the front, it actually has a uh, glass breaker, tungsten alloy, all right, so for any type of emergency, and it's a serious business end, okay, so to speak. And once you do open it up, you have your pen, and it actually does write pretty well, very comfortable. The cap will fit on both ends, okay, so whether you're using it to write or using it exposing the uh, glass breaker end, uh, either way, you're uh, good to go. The uh, clip on it, okay, is kind of girthy, long, uh, pretty applicable as far as options for what you're going to clip it to, whether it's to your molly gear, whether it's to a belt, whether it's uh, inside of your pocket. Once again, it depends on your application. Uh, but the cool thing too is it could also be removed and you can go ahead and have your uh, tactical pen with no clip at all if that serves your purpose better. So getting into the uh, self-defense application of these pens, right? Really they're uh, meat and potato and the whole purpose of them being tactical and having that name. Uh, when we're looking at a uh, tactical pens or any type of uh, edged weapons or most weapons, kind of look into two different types of grips where we kind of have a forward grip here, or we would have, let's say, a reverse grip here. Uh, with this re reverse grip, as far as in my opinion, uh, when we're using our tactical pens, thumb should go here into this position, right? Nice and comfortable. That way, if it does slip through, you're still okay, right? Not putting yourself in any kind of awkward position. If we go more with the tip of the finger, okay, kind of awkward there, you could really jam and uh, cause some serious issue here uh, to your joints. So we wanna make sure that that meaty part of the thumb is really what's backing you up, giving you that good uh, thrusting motion, which is really what you're gonna utilize uh, with the tactical pen. What this cap here has is this little protruding nipple or um, uh, tab coming up on top, where it looks like it'll hurt you when you put your finger there, and it would if you just use the tip here, uh, which is kind of the inc incorrect position for the uh, reasons I explained before. So as I move up more of that meteor part of the thumb, it actually gives it more of a non-slip here towards my thumb, where let's say if I'm using other type of tactical pens that have this uh, flat bottom here, you can tell it's much easier to just glide across, okay? So just a little subtle difference that this one here has, okay? So something to keep in mind. Once again, just giving you features uh, of uh, and um, aspects of this tactical pen, it's really up to you to decide what you think might work best for you. Uh, another thing that I want you to think about is a lot of uh, the tactical pens out there are kind of covered. Okay, so you have the smooth end, something that you want to think about if you have these pens in your pocket, if that's where you want to carry, right? Because something like this, uh, with this tungsten alloy tip uh, that's cool, that's the actual glass breaker, this could actually affect your pocket, let's say, and eventually with rubbing over time or whatever, I could see that, you know, messing up your pants or messing up your jeans or, you know, pretty much whatever you're wearing or possibly even uh, cut yourself, right, or, or scrape yourself with the pen. Uh, once again, hasn't happened to me, but I can see that possibility, so I just wanted to make it uh, known 
uh, and just something to think about here, right? Because you can't really cover this end. If you were to open up the pen, you got your writing end, you got your, blast, your uh, glass breaking end, all right? So whatever you cover, something's always gonna be exposed. So keep that in mind. Uh, one of the reasons why I opt to keep this in my go bag. Okay, something else to keep in mind with these pens, they don't uh, screw tight, let's say, as far as the lid. Okay, so it kind of just opens up and closes. All right, so there is this little bit of movement that's difficult probably to show through the camera, but it does wiggle, okay? So there is a little bit of play here. What I found with uh, testing these tactical pens over the years is that the ones that do fasten, what ends up happening is as I'm using them, and let's say I'm striking and practicing, right? Because it's all about the practice. You're not gonna go out there with a tactical pen and think that you could defend yourself if you don't put in the countless hours to train with it and that specific pen that you choose to carry, right? So as I'm sitting here doing this stuff and hitting and let's say making contact with uh, whatever I'm working on, okay? It could be a thick rope or something like that because I don't want to cause damage to my heavy bags or to a bob or anything like that. Um, what ends up happening is as I'm doing that, the lock tends to start to open up in my hand, feeling uncomfortable, feeling uh, rat, uh, rattling, uh, you know, things like that over time. Now, granted, in a combative application, you're not going to sit there with a uh, hundred different strikes for it to come apart. But for training purposes, that was something that I really didn't like. But this one kind of takes that out of play. I'm um, hoping that it lasts and, <laughs> and stays because these are relatively new pens, right? But as I am utilizing this and thrusting downwards, this little bit of give and the fact that it just spins and doesn't come apart on me is kind of a feature that, uh, that I do appreciate. Uh, especially in a training application where I might be practicing for a half hour and so on and so forth and I'm gonna have to keep tightening it up going ahead doing what I have to do tightening it up going ahead and doing what I have to do so just another feature that I want you to keep in mind now going into the a uh, little bit of information about traveling uh, normally when I do travel inside of uh, my travel bag uh, my carry-on I keep a bunch of different items and of course a lot of preparedness type items because uh, I never know what I'm going to encounter uh, but the uh, pen that I do travel with is uh, this one here and the main reason is because it doesn't look as much like a tactical pen granted this one has features on it that I wish this one did but it doesn't but once again different um, same principle right but different item depending on your needs uh, this is something that I would really like to keep in my go bag uh, just because of the dimensions, just because of the way it looks, and also the uh, features that it has, uh, such as this glass breaker, all right, where this one doesn't have that, but uh, once again, easier to uh, conceal inside of my travel bag. TSA isn't going to stop me and ask questions, even though when I did question the manufacturer, because I haven't traveled with this pen yet, uh, they did tell me that they've tested it various times uh, even themselves going through TSA and they've had no issues not even a second look okay but once again I'm not speaking from personal experience I'm speaking from uh, what the manufacturer states but just the fact that being uh, what I do for a living when I'm out there teaching combatives or tactical fitness and things of that nature I want to be uh, people are already looking at me right so I want to be as least discreet as possible where if I'm signing stuff with this no problem. They're probably not going to look at me twice. Here, they're going to ask questions, right? Because it does look kind of cool. It does look beefier. You know, it does, uh, you know, uh, present inquiries, <laughs> so to speak, uh, when somebody uh, sees this in your hand. So as usual, I will put all these specs in the blog post as far as weight and dimensions and uh, all sorts of other specs that I may have uh, neglected during this video review. And uh, once again, the, uh, the off-gear uh, people their customer support that I've been dealing with have been excellent. So I definitely highly recommend them. And one thing cool about this too, it's a 100% money back warranty. So if you do order it, you find that it's really something that's not for you or just doesn't fit your needs or whatever the case may be, you can go ahead, no questions ask, asked, and uh, send it back to uh, Off Grid Tactical. So once again, this is Helder. I really hope that you enjoyed this review.